Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. Well, here's what we got going on today. First of all, it's snowing. Oh, joy. Four doors outside getting soaked and muddy because it's covered in dust. I got the Terramite out. I moved the saw out. We're going to postpone that table saw project. We got that going on. Are they salting the roads? Unreal. I got my stand out for the engine. I figured, why not? Wait long enough. Let's see what's in this thing. So this is going to be a very, very long process. I'm going to break it down into groups, I think. That's the plan for right now. As you know, plans sometimes change. Uh, we got the CNC shoved in the corner. We're still working on the coil box, but I haven't quite figured out the software yet. So we're making lots and lots of firewood. There's one for me to measure. Okay, so we've got to get that on that. And then I can roll it in because the tractor won't fit in the garage. So I think the best thing for me to do for everybody all involved, all two of you that watch my show, is to put you on my neck and see what we capture. Hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's good footage. If it isn't, and you see a, a black screen after this, you'll know it didn't work out. I'll get a light on. Okay. All right, hopefully you can see. Where am I going? The thing we got to do is take this. And I don't know. Something's bothering my knee. For an order to this, for this to go on that stand, this has to be off. Put that there. Go get the. Mm, going for a ride. We'll get the engine stand, part of it anyway. Oh. I don't know, it's good enough. Now this stand has two, ow, oh my, I swear my knee is killing me. Uh, this stand has two positions it can go in. It can go in here, or it can go in here. And because the transmission's on, we want to go in the, the hole to the, we want to have the thing towards the back. that way that's more balanced. You get the idea. You guys aren't dumb. All right, this is always a pain in the ass. So one, I need to see what I'm doing. Two, I need some help aligning this. Oh, a little more light on the subject here. always a pain to get lined up. Almost. Fortunately, we're going to need a persuader. It's that Vice Grip Garage, the Tanya Harding 
5,000. I got one too. That might work. Almost. Oop. May have gone too far there. I know this went too far. <gasps> Bingo! Yes, snug them up. Ugh. No, Snuggums is not going to be the name of the engine. Don't even suggest it. Right, we're going to wheel this over to the stand, hopefully. This ought to be fun. Oh, look, carburetor parts. You know what I mean about fun? Sideways all the way. And out the door. Almost. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right. We're close. We're close. Just gotta move the tractor. I think we got geese. Every time. All right, we're getting closer. Just remember, I forgot the chain. All right, we're gonna grab this front corner. We're gonna grab, I don't know, somewhere in there. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, that's one I stretched. Just put that right here. You can't lose it for later. This one can go in that. Right. We're gonna tighten them down. Here I am skipping ahead. Hopefully that'll hold it. Now normally I'd prefer to have this the other way around. Let's be normal. Well, almost overrated. Come on.
Oh my god. All right, let's try that. No. That'll work. Just let it load itself. We'll get there. It's going to load itself for me. It's a very helpful tractor. creeping. that far. I might have to put my coat back on. It's starting to get cold. Come on. Come on. I believe my grandfather used to pick these up. At my age, you would just pick them up and walk down the cellar steps with them. Put them on the floor of the basement. I think he carried that one down about my age. I don't know how he did it. That man was a monster. You imagine 400 pounds. Bloop. When we pulled these out, I think it was this one. When, we, when I pulled that engine out of his basement, when I pulled that engine out of his basement, uh, we had it on a dolly, and I'm at the top of the dolly, and my, my father's at the bottom trying to pick it up over the steps because the, you know, the, the steps are like this, and the wheels were getting caught in between. 
So I put a board down, we're trying to roll it, we couldn't roll that up. And uh, my grandfather came along, busted his hip. I'll take you off here, make sure you're in frame. Uh, came along, he says, I can't help you much. Because uh, of the broken hip, he couldn't walk with a load on it. But he reached down and he grabbed the top of the engine. I think we had a strap on it. I had it strapped to the dolly. Picked up, boom, boom, put it on the next step. 400 pounds, one hand. Just right up off the ground, boom, there you go. Take a step forward and boom, one more step. Absolute monster of a man. All right, I'm going to put my toys away. Mainly, that one stays out in the snow all the time anyway, but I want to get that one back inside while we still have somewhat decent weather. Get everything put away, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to, we're going to discuss this little beast. And we'll start working on it. larger wheel. Uh, for all you people are talking about me running with a spark in the, the gas levers, woohoo! Don't use them. Sorry, you know I don't feel like dealing with that right now. Ugh. 